Measurement Measurements are the important basic units in our daily life. We use different measurements for different objects and different units. For example, to measure length of objects, we use meter and centimeter. To find the weight of objects, we use grams and kilograms. To find the capacity of liquids, we use liters and milliliters. Now let us see the measurement of length. Thousands. Thousand meters is equal to one kilometer. Hundreds. Hundred meters is equal to one hectometer. Tens. Ten meters is equal to one decameter. Ones. One meter. Tenth. One by ten. That means ten decimeter is equal to one meter. Hundred. One by hundred. That is. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. 1000, 1 by 1000 millimeter. That is, 1000 millimeters is equal to 1 meter. Meter and centimeter are the standard units of measurement of length. To measure the higher units than meter, kilometer, hectometer and decameter are used. In metric system, if a unit is converted into immediate smaller units, it should be multiplied by 10. For example, convert 5 decometers into meters. This can be written like this. 5 into 10 is equal to 50 meters. If the same unit is converted into immediate bigger units, it should be divided by 10. Look at the example. Convert 50,000 millimeter into centimeter. This can be written like this. 50,000 divided by 10 is equal to 5,000 centimeters. This can be done easily by following the table of measurement of length. Measurement of weight. Units of measurement of weight are used to weigh solids or objects. Now let us see the table for measurement of weight. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. 1 hectogram is equal to 100 grams. 1 decagram is equal to 10 grams. 1 decigram is equal to 1 by 10 grams. This can also be written like this 0 0.1 gram. 1 centigram is equal to 1 by 100 grams and also written as 0 0.01 gram. 1 milligram is equal to 1 by 1000 grams and also can written like this 0 0.001 gram. The standard units of weight or grams denoted with G and kilograms with kg. It is measured by using balance. Higher units to measure the weight. 1 quintal is equal to 100 kilograms. 1 metric ton is equal to 1000 kilograms that is 10 quintals. Measurement of liquid. Liters and milliliters are used to measure the liquids. Observe the units in the following table. 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 liters. 1 hectoliter is equal to 100 liters. 1 decoliter is equal to 10 liters. 1 deciliter is equal to 1 by 10 liter that is 0 0.1 liter. 1 centiliter is equal to 1 by 100 liters that is 0 0.01 liter. 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liter that is 0 0.001 liters. Measurement of time. We measure time in minutes hours and seconds. We use the device clock to measure the time. We measure the time with the help of hands present in the clock. Look at the table. 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. 24 hours is equal to 1 day. 7 days is equal to 1 week. 4 weeks or 30 or 31 days is equal to 1 month. 12 months is equal to 1 year. That is 54 weeks. One year is equal to 365 days. 
A leap year consists of 366 days. It comes once in four years. In leap year, February consists of 29 days. Measurement of different shapes. As we measure the length, weight and liquids, we also have to measure certain areas with specific space. The units used to measure these specific shapes or space is perimeter and area. Perimeter. Sum of all the sides of a closed figure is called its perimeter. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B where L stands for length and B stands for breadth. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4S where S is equal to side of a square. Let us see some examples. For example, the floor of a room is in the shape of a rectangle. If its length is 30 meters and breadth is 25 meters, what is its perimeter? Here is the solution. Length of the floor is equal to 30 meters. Breadth is equal to 25 meters. The principle for perimeter is 2 into L plus B. If we apply the values 2 into 30 plus 25. Now 30 plus 25 becomes 55. Now let us multiply. 2 into 55 becomes 110 meters. Area. The space occupied by a closed figure is called area. 1 square centimeter means area of a square whose side is 1 centimeter. Look at the picture. 1 square meter means area of a square of side 1 meter. 1 square kilometer is equal to 10 lakh square meters. In the same way, we can say that the area of rectangle is equal to L into B where L is equal to length and B is equal to breadth. Area of a square is equal to side into side that is A square. Let us see an example. If the side of a square slab is 18 cm, what is its area? Look at the solution. Side of a square is equal to 18 centimeters. The principle of area is side into side. If we apply the values, 18 into 18 centimeters. So we get the product 324 square centimeters. Points to remember. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. 1 meter is equal to 0 0.001 kilometer. 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meter. 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. 1 milliliter is equal to 0 0.001 liter. 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. 1 gram is equal to 0 0.001 kilogram. 1 quintal is equal to 100 kilograms. Area of a rectangle is equal to L into B. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Area of a square is equal to S into S that is S square. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4S that is 4 into S. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds.